what is going down everybody and welcome to the all seas collector's edition podcast my name is james oh my my beautiful wife trish hey chris the beard back up hi our dmaj cheers and ken behind the camera chaos production yep. thank you sir and let's get this podcast rolling for thank you for being a part of it with us of course following us live sharing liking and you know partaking with us what do they get for doing that aj like, comment, and share, and you guys are going to get your chance to win the monthly gift this month. It is going to be, oh, we switched months. Man, they just threw it's, me for a new one. Apollo one. Creed, the pop vinyl. I was ready to say the last one. Rhode Island, the Colorado Springs Comic Con Colorado exclusive. Comics, uh, Colorado Springs Comic Con exclusive to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This, the Tick comic. Another con exclusive. And then, is that another one down there? X-Men number friggin' one. The Colorado Very, Springs oof. Comic Con exclusive as well. Or altered reality, as we like to call them, exclusives. Thank you, altered reality, for donating these three awesome variants. As well, on top of that, we're going to give you a twenty dollars gift card to Nickel Play Arcade, Santa Barbara Arcade, down on Mississippi and Chambers. Plus, this awesome again, Apollo Creed. Who doesn't like Apollo? Like, comment, share everywhere podcasts are found. That includes here on Facebook. Make sure you do the share part. That's what a lot of people leave out. Also, over on Twitter, on iHeartRadio, on Google Play, on Apple iTunes, on Podbean. On Spotify, everywhere podcasts are found. Yes, yes. Last month, we had a winner for this awesome Pokemon playmat, as well as two Colorado Springs exclusive comic covers for Transformers and Venom. Ken, who was our winner? Matt Gonzalez. All right, Come Matt. Down. Awesome, to Matt. The South store to pick up your surprise. That's, that's I right. We'll be seeing you <laughs> on Free Comic Book Day. That's right. And as well, Free Comic Book Day is our guest this week. We'd like My to inter- guest ever. introduce Free Comic Book Day, May 7th. Thank you for being here, May Comic Book, or Free Comic Book Day. Our biggest sale of the year. Yeah, it's our biggest uh, sale of the year. This year. We'll see if it normal time, as big as normal it usually place. is. First weekend in May, back to the first since 2019, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, what's well, crazy. It's been, been crazy. Been a long, long two years since That's Free three Comic years, Day. honey. Three years, yes. All right, no, well, yeah, you're right. All right, well, we have sponsors of this uh, podcast, and they are Game to Gamer, Pocket Games up in Pierce, Colorado, Angelo CDs and Records. Also, we have Copar Hobbies and Nickel Play. Nickel Play giving away that uh, monthly prize this week. Thank you, Nickel Play. Markets gold one thousand eight hundred ninety-seven dollars, down forty bucks. Silver twenty-two dollars and eighty-one cents, down a dollar seventy. The Dow also down a thousand points, thirty-two thousand nine hundred seventy-seven. Finally, they all three went down. All three down together, and you know, crashing. I don't get what's going on. I'm still paying spot for gold and silver. I'm a strong believer in the metals and physical goods, as I always talk about on here. Bring us your gold and silver. We are a strong buyer. Please. If I were to guess, it's the beginning of May, and I believe two weeks is when the Fed is going to meet, and they're going to be doing the next of a expected four or six hikes in interest and that is making everyone hesitant to do any buying anytime any buying slows down like that across the board everything starts falling low is if they increase that interest rate the way they're talking about another point this mm. year gold and silver are going to have to spike and it's going to kill the dow eventually if we keep increasing interest that's true wow. you that's would imagine so pretty bad yeah the only thing that would make sense would always make sense are those awesome picks from the beard chris back them let's get them comic picks my friend what do you got? What do I got? What do you I got? got? No. What do is, you this, got? is this going to make Zavon happy or not happy? Who cares? Don't Let's care. see. Let's see what we got. We, this ain't the picks for Zavon. Nobody cares, Zavon. It's picks from the beard. Exactly. First up, we got another brand new X team. That's a cool cover. Called the Knights of X. Knights of X. It's been an office of one of the new X team books they've been doing. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but hey, Knights, X-Men should be good. All right. What else you got, my friend? Next up, we got Trial of the Amazons. Always number good. two. The Amazons on trial. This is wrapping up the story of who killed the queen. All hail the new queen. Spoiler alert: It's Nubia is the new queen. I don't know who killed the old queen, but Nubia is the new queen. And DC themselves spoiled it before the book came. I was going to say, why would you sell that? But yeah, there, there, there were ads. There were ads on the inside that said Nubia's coronation. You're like. Well, the book's not even out yet. Thanks for spoiling it <laughs> Thanks for, for me. Yeah. Why, why am I, I reading I think this? I know what's going to happen. No. I'm, I'm going to make pics from the beard, though. Good job. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Next up, we got Punisher number two. 
Actually, not bad. I flipped through the Punisher yeah. number two. Punisher you get it? Number two. <laughs> yes, sir. This is the new <laughs> series of Punisher where Punisher's leading the hand. They think he's the reincarnation of the vengeance guy who rules the, the hand. That's why he's hanging out with him. And you get to see who their god is at the last page of it. You do. And it's not perfect you. sense. No. I wish it was. Welcome back. <laughs> There's a lot of great artwork in that book, yeah, actually. Yeah. I liked it. Have I didn't you? think I would. I wish they put the skull back, but whatever. Right. And then my favorite book of the week, we've got Godzilla Rivals, Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. There we go. This is a cool book. I flipped through it. I can't wait to read it. Kind of, you know, they both monster planet fight, you know. I wonder how the dialogue will be in that one. Surprisingly, there's a lot more than you would think. <laughs> it should be it should be one page of dialogue, 20 that pages of fights. Roars and rears. It's exactly. It should be the only dialogue in it. And the fun book of the week. Should be a good read. I love everything these guys are putting out. It's the naughty list, number one. Albert That's Scott. right. God, you just got pun after pun. Exactly. My mind's in the gutter. Up. What can I say? Uh, kind of an odd time uh, of year to put this Yes, it up. is kind of an odd time to put the naughty yeah, list right. out. This is about somebody. Santa's not a nice guy. He's kind of a drunk. He's kind of a hard ass. Somebody steals his naughty list and starts killing people on the naughty list, which hmm. should be a whole bunch of kids, but I don't know because they're like all kinds of people on the naughty list. So should be a bunch he, of kids. And he has to team up. <laughs> Damn, he has to team up with his best elf, his, his most loyal elf, to track down who stole the naughty list. Zabon says I'm, Ken don't make Godzilla noises, but I think that was Trish making Godzilla noises. So okay, so there's some insults going on all around. Oh. I had those were for okay. Ken. I get it. Yeah, Real quick. <laughs> I had one pick feet. we had to talk about. It is the final issue of Deep Target. It is a crossover of my boys, both Green Arrow and Aquaman. Should have known. It's been a great book. Wait, I've wait, wait what's going on here? You slipped in your own. I did. I just slipped in AJ's <laughs> pick of the week. Like, here it Look is. at that. We've not talked about Deep Target yet. I had to throw this out there. It's my two boys. I just had to go in, grab that off the wall. There's a couple issues left in both stores. It was a fun read. If you guys haven't seen it, um, Ryan actually was the first one who called it. At, in the first like three, four issues, they switch places. Like they're in each other's bodies and they kind of look weird. The beards look wrong and stuff. And like it all turns out it was like part of the whole thing is they had to go undercover as each other to catch this person. Yeah. Is a damn good read. I recommend off. it. Hey, Zavon, yeah. if, if, how can you see the pics were horrible if the Punisher was good? That makes no sense. Zavon like, never making sense. Say more on. You cannot rip on Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had homework, you. kid. Come on, man. Oh. Let's go. He's like, I can't watch the podcast. I have homework. Right. Well, let's just get that there homework. Go. Let's go. What do you got? Uh, new stuff this week was that Magic New Capenna full release. Yes. The Commander decks, too hot. We sold out. We're Fine. trying to get more. Fire. First thing tomorrow, we'll see if we can't get some in. But they were hot. We'll let you guys know. Check the Facebook pages. As soon as I get Commander decks back in, they'll go out. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, we also do have some collector boosters left. I know a lot of people are after this new hot collector boosters. If you guys are trying to chase that Elspeth, we have them at both stores, but it's a one-time order thing. So once those are gone, they're gone. That's right. That's right. Good stuff. And will Yu-Gi-Oh coming out soon? Yu-Gi-Oh next week next is going to be Ghost from the Past 2. Sports releases. We had Donner's Baseball. Baseball season in full swing now. And the Rockies pretty much almost have a lose record, right? Uh, actually, they're back above 500 because oh, they came home and won three straight. So right, let's go. They, they fell apart against Philly for some reason, yeah, and then they came back and got and woke up. So okay. they're about three games over, I think. All right. Beautiful. Buys of the week. And what do we got? What do we got? We had a lot of buys of the week, but we're at the new store. And I keep forgetting to bring over multiple items. So That's okay. this did get over here. This one got over here, and it was from one of our old guys, Jeffrey. Thank yep. you very much. Uh, Got some awesome other Pokemon stuff from, but that sold right away. Yes. Mythic Collection Mew came in. Gone. Check this out. Game Boy Def Jam Fight New York City. I wonder if he still has this one. New York City. Uh, I, know I he imagine does, so. I'm not That's sure. a great book. He does, uh, a great game. Dreamcast, not GameCube. Oh, that's right. But GameCube getting hotter and harder to find in Def Jam. Always been a great fighting game series that they just should have continued. I know yeah, that. great idea. Snoop oh, Morgan there. saw that. He was like, oh, no shit. Yeah. I think he was going to get try to get it himself. Especially the way they're, putting, they're making the uh, fighting oh, Ryan game, Haggerty loved that game. game and all that, what they could do with Jeff, Jeff Jam and mm -hmm. you know other similar fighting games would be. Just Give me killer. Def Jam classics for Savon's peeps. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I always like the celebrity says he's buying that. Well, you buy it. You got, you it's get your $150, Zavon. Get your ass down here. Great rare uh, game. Come on down to LC South. Fucking great game. Yeah, Absolutely, it is a great game. everybody. 
I always like the celebrity death match. Like I always like always Marilyn Manson against Jerry Springer. Oh, yeah. I, I like yeah. when uh, Ice Cube went up against Ice T and were beaten, or is uh, Vanilla Ice versus Ice T, and they were both beaten by Ice Cube. Yes, yeah, for the best ice. Cube ice. came in and beat him for the best ice. That's right. That sounds delicious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, buys of the week. That was it. We're going on to Trisha's show and tail as she's slamming vegetable juice over here. What is that? Trisha's show and tail. Some weird Pretty much drink best- from next door. Yeah. It's a Gross. little bit of veggies in there, too. <sighs> All right, go awesome. ahead. We're slamming beers. She's slamming beers. You want to give a shout out to who made you those? Uh, yeah, beer? this is Roro Juice, everybody. They're next right door to us. They have the best pressed, cold pressed juices. Friggin' amazing. They always coming in here hooking me up for free. But uh, yeah, they got these delicious little Zoom ball things that are made with like, uh, there's one that has like uh, cocoa and almonds, and almond flour. It's like all vegan and gluten free, vegan friendly and stuff. And so that's what I find myself eating. I'm drinking a bunch of around here. So yeah, Roro zoom Juice balls. peeps. Zoom zoom balls. All right, let's zoom go. Zoom balls. So long awaited. I have been waiting uh, for this peeps for I don't even know like the last year. One of my favorite grim ones. The yeah, best one. The new batch part two. And I wish they would come up with a part three. But anywho, this is one of the ones I Same didn't time. have in my collection. Yeah. And finally, long anticipated. The brain. The brain. It's civilization. It's what we want. It's to be civilized. Mm, that's right. Now, you see what he just did there? That's not civilized, is it? Anywho, comes even with a nice outfit. Cloth, people. Cloth yep. outfit. There's a syringe with this and a <laughs> smoking pipe. And uh, there's his... Uh, All the chemicals from His the chemicals from the lab that made him turn into the brain. And Nick has Ken, would you do again. the honors of this beautiful... NECA's cool. done put out some great, great figures this year. NECA has really just talked on themselves. They just come out with the best stuff, they honestly. Really do. You already touched on it, but I got to say, NECA being ballsy enough to put cloth back on figures. Back it, on this kind of figure, too. So articulation's a must with these. Yep. And it, uh, it's something you just don't see anymore. And if you keep that cloth nice, that's how those pieces are going to be worth something. Oh, absolutely. Yep. That's why I, I struggled to I want to take some of them out of the the box but i just i haven't brought myself to do it because the answer is to buy two trish yes the is answer serious. is to buy one two. to keep mint on card one and to one to open yes yeah because then i can have a gremlin room. in every room and then the last thing that came out this week which i'm not as impressed with but still thought it was pretty cool it because the fried chicken. it comes with a bucket of fried <laughs> chicken a piece of fried chicken and a gun in the bucket of fried chicken bucket well i said bucket of fried chicken but the house of the thousand corpses uh, of a thousand corpses, Captain Spaulding. But why is does he out look way week. too much like John Wayne Gacy in that figure? My boy said, "Hey, or well, pretty I cool think... box art on this figure. We flip it around, Ken. There's some cool uh, graphics on the back there. Shows yeah. you the rest of the figures coming, like Doctor Satan. That Bill Mosley figure looks sick. Yeah. Are they gonna make Fish Boys or Alligator Boys? Is it alligator Boy or Fish Boy? No, he's not gonna fish be in the set. It's Fish Boy. And Dwight, he's not Dwight in the- from the office. Made by Trick or Treat Studios. Yeah, brand new toy company on the scene. Oh the- my God, that is Dwight from the office. Yeah, you know it that is that Dwight from the office. Oh, it took me to put that together, but you are a hundred percent right. Hundred percent. Yep. Man, I have not seen that movie. It it's a great, so great horror movie. Great horror movie. It is. So I think it drops zombies best. Uh, on lists of horror movies I that agree, like made yeah. me scared, I stopped being scared of horror movies after Candyman when I was like six years old. Until I watched that first House of a Thousand Corpses, I was like 13 and still gave me nightmares. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good movie. Good movie. Great. Love it. Yeah, it is. It's a really good one. And that gives us a chance to go to entertainment news in a second. Still haven't seen it. Oh, go ahead. Entertainment news. We watched a brand new Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Going against the anti-cancel culture. Good job, Leatherface. Took them out one by one. Whole buses loads. Whole town full. They're all dead. So they they threatened to sue, and uh, he responded yeah. with a chainsaw to the face. They were going to cancel yes. him. Culture, he, hey, listen, he doesn't get canceled. Don't talk, bro. Or you're going to be canceled. <laughs> yeah, canceled, motherfucker. Now you are so going to be canceled. Talk. You know, great movie. The th- it's in a day and age where we don't see a lot of horror movies or gore in movie anymore. They've showed everything. All the gore scenes were shown. straight through. Great, great stuff. Great. A lot film. of it's predictable. It's sure, so, but that's not why I watch horror movies sometimes. I watch horror see the movies gore. are so allowed to be predictable in the death so scenes. Like, I gotta say, that first death scene when he's in the back of that van, oh. I, I, that wasn't predictable. With that cop at all. breaking his arm, breaks his wrist, him. stabs him with his own bones. Oh, oh yeah, I did like that part. That, that wasn't was actually predictable. nice. Touch. I, I expected him to like start ripping, like beating on the guy. I didn't expect that shit at all. <laughs> yeah, that was great. But you know what, though? It says two, <laughs> God bless you. you. It says two things it says that uh, Bubba is a mama's boy. 
a little bitch ass mama's boy. No, he boy. lived in the orphanage. Yeah, his she family raised was all him. Dead. So he's still a mama's boy. His mama is his orphanage. They killed that old lady for no reason. Sure, they did, but I'm just saying. He avenged her. He literally put her face on, went back and killed everybody with her face on. Right. But he's awesome. still. He, what a way to avenge me. If I die some brutally, somebody wants, please cut Jane my face off. To wear their face. Marry my face around and Jane, kill the people. This. Avenge me back. Yeah. Come on, Jay and Trish. Peter Parker's got you. All right. Yeah. Any of you. Peter please. <laughs> All right. Also, in entertainment news, we got Ant Man and Wasp switch with Marvel. A switch. So Ant Man and Wasp have switched dates with the Marvels as far as release dates. So they just. What's the Marvels? The Marvels is going to be Captain Marvel 2, but we're going to get all the Marvels together. Captain Marvel, Photon, and Miss Marvel, and Ms. Marvel are all going to be in the Marvels. Okay. So that, but the biggest Yuck. news from Marvel Sorry. is this week, sold out most places, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse. Hmm. I can't wait for that. that Super amazing. excited for that one. Except for when I asked you what was coming out this week and that we had a date, you had no idea what it was going I still can't wait for it. It'll be a great day. Hey, it's been a Doctor long Doctor Strange and the Multiverse. Let's go. Also came out was the Ozarks back new season, yes. final season on Netflix, I think, right? Yeah, final season on yeah, Netflix the, there. Bunch of stuff just released the last couple of days on Netflix. Yeah, so good stuff. You know, though, they, they were pretty ballsy actually making this the last season of Ozarks because they got rid of a bunch of, of TV series and movies and stuff like that. They really turned into a shit, uh, shit streaming service. And then they're going to get rid of wow. a few good things that they have. Well, I'm saying it. You know yeah. what? I'm going to say the one thing because I'm with you. Netflix has made hey, some Netflix, If you'd like to sponsor this podcast, Netflix, please give us a call. 303 751 6882. Netflix has made some moves that are uh, not the best recently. They are cutting a lot of their best shows. They also are ending Grace and Frankie's been one of their most popular. Last episodes just came out. Yeah, I can't that. It's, uh, we watched like two of them. It's been hilarious so far. But what I did see from them, really excited about this. They are making that 90s show. It is a prequel to that or a sequel to that 70s show about their kids living through the 90s. Yep. But they mm. finally got signed on yesterday. Everybody is coming back for a like reunion episode from the 70s cast. The grandparents, all the people in well, the, the basement. grandparents are like the stars. Except for, yeah, the, the daughter lives with the grandparents. So Except for okay. pedophile raising. dude, right? Everybody but pedophile dude. Yep. Uh, Daniel. Yeah, Hyde. Yep, Hyde. Oh, yeah. Daniel Masterson. They're going to kill him off or what? Uh, he's just not in the episode. They're probably going to either say he's he dead or he couldn't make it out dead. or something. But he also he's got kicked out of their jail. other big show for all this. So I expect Netflix won't work with him again. It's a lot of that. Well, probably yeah, not. he's in jail. Yeah, because he's on the Couldn't get show. out of prison yeah. because. The ranch. The, the ranch. ranch. Is he a Scientologist? He, he's a Scientologist. His Why didn't they help him out? Get him on the boat. Because Scientology just believes that your karma is your own. Who's his brother? His brother is the guy who played Titus on Malcolm in the Middle, the oldest brother. They're really? brothers. Really? Real yep, the Masterson's brothers. I can see huh. that. Yeah. yeah. And both of them deep into Scientology. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. They didn't see that one coming. Didn't know that. Also, sports news. We had the NFL draft this week. Congratulations to all your teams out there. Hope you got who you wanted. Broncos did fairly well. We'll see. First time in a long time since the long 50s, time. only one quarterback taken in the first two rounds. Kenny Pickett from uh, Pittsburgh. I think the Steelers could have waited until the second round and got him. I don't Easily. think anybody was picking him. Easily. No. So, whatever. All right. I just want to say, Zavon, you are a brave, brave man. He just threatened to wear the beard's face as revenge. And I'm just saying, the beard, if anyone's going to wear a face around here, it's going to be the beard. <laughs> Is he going to do the big cut, Chris's face off, and then do pics from the beard? Zavon's going to go. All right. I like it, Zavon. I like what you're saying. Let it spice up the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna like we won't notice. Like, do you shrink, Chris? You get shorter. Have any? You get cut off of the knees. You're a little less grumpy. <laughs> That's when you know it's not me. I come in way too happy. Is it, like, no, is it like face-off situation with John Travolta Zavon in the cage where they just change their bodies? Here's how we're gonna figure it out. Zavon's uh, yeah. gonna try to give me a hug, and I'm gonna be like, clearly not, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> see yep. that Chris doesn't like to touch. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, NBA playoffs is live and well. The Mavericks can beat the Jazz in an upset. Whew. Brooklyn put away by the Celtics. Celtics odds on favor by a lot of people to win it all, along with Golden State, of course, beating the Nuggets. So there was that sad news. <laughs> and we, we do have a complaint that we have covered up Slimer's ass. It's not <laughs> done on purpose. I don't think. Oh, that's sad. Not with that intention. That yeah, is. we don't try to do that on purpose. We, no. we want Slimer to moon you every week. Yeah, he yes, is all one big butt, really. <laughs> All right, we our guest this week is Free Comic Book Day. Free Comic Book Day is a tradition. What twenty years now? Twenty plus years? Over twenty years. Over twenty years. Free Comic Book Day. I think it was twenty years in twenty nineteen. So I think we're supposed to be at like twenty two, twenty three now. Is a brick and mortar comic book family owned stores across this great globe. We try to give back to our community and get comic books in the hands of youth and people 
in general in our communities for free. That's our goal. Absolutely. And along with that, we have our biggest sale of the year. AJ, why don't you tell them that? All right. So we've got so much going down for Free Comic Book Day, everybody. So first off, you're going to be able to come on in. You're going to – oh, I think you just got a comment in there too. There, Sorry, we're seeing Free Comic Book Day roll in. We're going to have our biggest sale of the year going on. We're going to have 50% off of all of our back issues in box. We're yes, going to have sir. 25% off of all of our back issues on wall. We are going And in showcase. And showcase. Showcase books, 25% Slabs. off. CGC Slabs. books. Mm. Hot. 25% off of Crazy. most toys, clothes, single cards. All my single trading cards, 25% off. Yep. 10% sports. off all. Yeah, and sports singles. 10% off all sealed wax boxes. 10% off gaming, all, and yep, again, gaming and sports again. Gaming and non-sports. All supplies for gaming and sports, 10% off. It's What about action cuts. figures? Action figures, 25% what off. What about under statues? 25% off. What about vintage toys? 25% off. Wow. Wow. What about trades? Oh, trade paperback. Trade, 25% off. What about That's supplies? Great. 10% off. 10%? What about gold and silver? No, no not on sale. We, we, we one Sorry. time got Gary to slide that by him. It's on the 30th anniversary. It might take till the 40th. But again, we're paying the spot for gold and silver. If you're interested in selling gold and silver, that day. Yeah. True. We had it on sale. <laughs> but this is insane. This is our deepest cuts of the year. And in addition to that, you guys can come in. You can get up to five free comics. Five free comic books. Per person. So if you... I'm just saying, we've had kids come store. in with it, babies. First oh, yeah. store, go to both stores, different inventories. You in both bring stores. your one year old in, that one year old can have five free comics, as far as I'm concerned. We're not tracking if you've been to both stores or not. Yep. We got the manpower. And I, we have something new going on this year, too. Friday, leading into Free Comic Book Day, we are going to be laying out a ton of board games in the gaming arena over there. Every $25 purchase, you get to choose one of those board games to take home free. There's a and Planeswalker, so Planeswalker Magic game. Planeswalker there? Magic game in there. We've got a Dominion game in there. I've got some Azul in there. Azul. Oh, yeah. It's going to be hotness. Um, in addition, down here at the South Store, we're going to have multiple artists. We know we have Eddie Rhodes, Matt Gonzalez. And just confirmed, Heidi Davis. Boom. Heidi Davis. So this is me, that really good Disney-inspired artist. Did a cover for Isabella of the My Little Pony stuff. Matt Gonzalez, an amazing oh. artist. And then Eddie Rhodes, an artist of the three arts. last two and only two All Seas card sets ever produced. The 2020 football and... The top 50 collectibles of all time by E3 I believe even, Art. even that set would be 10% off. It's a sealed product. That's right. 10% Ooh. off on both those. I might have a box of football left Ooh. at the Aurora shop. And in addition to that, over By the Eddie Rhodes Art now. Why he still can't do it now. Just, he's going to get hot. Before he blows up. Yes, he sir. He'll be like that Clayton Crane, just like one day. Boom. Man. Come over to the gaming side as well for our Magic New Capenna Draft Game Day. We're going to be doing New Capenna Drafts that day, all day. It's New Capenna. It is a three color set. So we are doing. Four pack drafts. Four pack draft. draft. That's amazing. Go and buy, learn how to play magic, and uh, you know, enjoy free comic book day. Local artists, uh, biggest sale of the year. Two locations, three locations actually, because the gaming arena as well has a store wide sale. And uh, again, I love free comic book day. It's my favorite day of the year, really. Oh, love it. In the retail it's a setting, around here. we get to give back a little bit. Uh, great titles from Marvel, DC, IDW, Dynamite. Every they also sometimes start uh, stories with that right. too. Yeah, there's some of them that are like book zeros or whatever for right. starting, and they're like hard to find. Umbrella yeah. Academy be one yeah. of those books. Umbrella Academy, Blackest Night Zero is one of those. G.I. Joe That's 155 one book I don't and have a half. G.I. Joe 155 and a half. I believe uh, that new Swordmaster who's Iron Fist was first in English. I in think so, yeah. Day. There you go. Like A lot of good keys in all those books. Just don't sleep on them. No, no, come by. Get in line early. I'm going to go through this real quick. It's going to be a shorter podcast. We're going to get hold of Hecklar. Hecklar is going to be live and in person at th all three locations, handing out those uh, nickel play cards I heard, handing out all kinds of giveaways as well. First in line, though, you get your choice at both locations. So either pick All Seas Aurora or All Seas Centennial, and you can get a Marvel Legend figure. We don't just have free comic book day stuff. We do. We have free comic book day stuff in addition to other things. And then we throw things. cool collectibles and, on top. You know, I want to throw out something there because much, much to mine and Chris's dismay occasionally here, the free comic book day stuff, it's all for you guys, the customers. We don't get any of those special pops that come in, any of that stuff. Now, me and Chris have watched some real nice stuff come and go because employees, we don't get that dips. I even, know some other stores that that stuff doesn't show up because the employee got there Even first. people we know, like yep. Peter Parker, got to get in line. Got to get in line. Peter Parker don't gotta get nothing free unless you get in line. Hey, get I line. have literally seen things that have come in the door where I'm like, I want that so bad. A, a haunted house puzzle. Got that on. was the coolest thing. It was customer first. Sorry. Here's something I know AJ would be standing in line for if it was free. If Scarlet I could get that, Witch. you know I would. 
Marvel, That's my Mar- girl right there. Marvel Select Scarlet Witch. The villain from this week's movie. Yes, sir. Everybody, you guys, if you've been sleeping on Scarlet Witch, just wait till next week. Oh, yeah. I had a first oh, experience I'm... of that in yesterday on eBay. Oh, my gosh. X-Men uh, 4. Yeah, I, I'd been watching that. If I had had the money, I would. it was only a point five, but, man, it was... It's collector piece. It's one of those I need. Yes, sir. Uh oh, AJ's yeah. gonna start crying I here because he didn't get it. It's here. Plastic on it. There was a little drool. Here's something we all yes. need: the savior of our future, Neo. Yeah. Killing off the Matrix. Come by, get Neo. That's Love just that. one of them. Here's another one. Trish's favorite. She'd stay in line for this. I would Grimlin. absolutely. Anything Gremlin for free, Trish is there. Hell's yeah. Again, both locations: all season Aurora, all season Centennial. To get these free items, you must go to the comic book side. Be in line at the comic book side. Magic Game Day will wait for you until after that. That don't That's even right. start till noon. You got two hours. <coughs> this of one's super cool right here. I love this because you get both. You get Mr. Keaton and you get the Mat- Batmobile right there. Sorry, Not the just one night? or the other. Best Batman. In the Batmobile. With that Dark Knight. Diecast. Die great, great uh, Hollywood rides there. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I always think of Batman as Michael Keaton. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that Batman. could have George Clooney. I'm not too sure. No, don't you ever speak of that That's again. Val That's Val Kilmer. That's the <laughs> That's Val Kilmer. You want to eat? I that at night at That's Val Kilmer. You're wrong. You know what? That is Val Kilmer. But Chris, tell me, doesn't that look like <laughs> bat nipples, which would have made it George Clooney? I think they all had bat nipples. Oh, oh, Anything no Schumacher. Uh, we did bat nipples. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's some bat nipples. If I've ever seen a nipple plus. I mean, he makes you That's a nice set right there. All right, AJ, tell them what we got it's this. I, all right. I do this for everybody, all the families out there trying to get your kids into Pokemon, <laughs> or as a family, a dad and mother trying to learn Pokemon. This is my number one recommended item every time I have a parent come in saying, hey, Free. my kid is into Pokemon. Free, this Free gives you day. one, two, three decks with three of the most popular Pokemon on the market right now, Pikachu, <laughs> Eevee, and Cinderace. And it gives you all the instructions on how to play. So that is a deck for mom, that is a deck for dad, and that is a deck for kiddo. All hey, of you Johnny, guys can learn how to play together. We're everybody. Wait, what? Yeah. You've got three kids. They all get a deck. And you know how that is. You buy one thing, they're all going to want got a one. Deck. She got a deck. We all got decks. Oh, yeah. oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of Scarlet if Witch. If I were going to be getting one item, this item is hotness. Yes, it is. This will probably be the number Here one thing to go. This Marvel Gallery. Yeah, the version of I Want to Cosplay. Well, good luck. You better. Well, you got the bald head for see it. See that six pack there, buddy? All right. The version Ken's of got a six pack of not, the kid, not, not the Ken Sullivan version, but the real vision. <laughs> Marvel Gallery. Awesome piece here. Marvel Gallery diorama. The vision. Why is his pecs like bigger than his like little? Because he's a real area. badass. I mean, well, no, because he's a robot. He's and an he android, doesn't. Yeah. He can't gain weight or whatever. So oh no, I was saying like his like package is smaller than his abs. Well, he's you know? at every kind of function. I heard. Knows the comic He is a fully holy. functioning Android. Yes, he is. Oh, shit. Yes, All right. Yes, well, it doesn't look like it from my point of view. Well, he had babies with one. Come to Free Comic Book Day. It is kid-friendly, unlike mm-hmm. this podcast. So yes. come Saturday. Get in line early. I it's know a lot of people. It's a fun time. I like seeing the line and talking to the people. I and... typically go live a few times on Facebook. We'll show you guys the line. We'll show you everybody there. I'm sure. Ken, are you going to be here yep. at this one? Are you going to be cosplay? live from both stores at different points? It's yeah. literally should. my favorite day of the year up there. Like... Maybe Darkwing There's Duck. There's so much going on. Yeah. You'll see cosplayers. We take pictures of all the kids coming through in their costumes, doing the uh, Hecklar again. Hecklar going to be at all Ooh, three you stores. Know what we had now. Do we want to announce now and do our normal twenty five dollar gift certificate costume contest? And I'll take the pictures of the kids. Sure, but real quick, real quick, we're talking about costumes. Huh? Check out Hecklar. Brought to you by a five star limousine. That's a oh. five star limousine bringing Hecklar all around town to the stores. Also. Bringing our wrestlers to the LC's Fan Heck Expo in the fall. I'll let like Ken get into that later. Our con news brought to you by A5 Star Limousine. Hey, maybe we'll be uh, taking around uh, A5 Star Limousine on our anniversary in three weeks. Maybe. 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 Sure, maybe. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I just got to say. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, getting a little ahead of Ken. We've Still got some great wrestlers. But... I've been playing a lot of WWE 2K recently. One of the lines they constantly say every time you're fighting Randy Orton, they're like, and remember, Randy Orton comes from a long line of wrestlers, including his dad, Cowboy Bob Orton. Ace. Oh, yeah, it has this whole, like, line, like I'd say a 20-second paragraph talking about Cowboy Bob Orton. Trish got to talk to a real live bushwhacker today on the phone. The, or the bushwhacker. Oh, he, he got to talk to Luke, did you not? He actually is such a cool and funny dude. He cracks me up. And uh, I got to talk to Mr. Orton. It was awesome. It was a privilege. Oh, and again, a- thank you. Admiral Hussein for bringing us all these wrestlers. 
If it was James for Admiral, fanboyed out. If it was for General Hussein, Jad, Jad, I was about to say it's not Admiral, it's General, General Hussein. Hussein. Hey, I gotta tell you, I was requested hey, that land I land the Navy. Well, Saddam was all of it. Wasn't Saddam Hussein like a general and admiral? You don't have a Navy. Yeah, the, he I was guess. just supreme ruler. They're in the desert. Hey. Yeah, no admirals. <laughs> and you know, I was actually requested that I hold Cowboy Bob and Bushwhacker's hand to take them to breakfast in the morning on Sunday because they have I am having them get up far too early. Yes, ma'am. So you're so. gonna have to get them down there to eat. Uh, no, they they said they said, "What are you gonna be doing while what we're getting up early?" Because uh, I told them they had to hold each other's hands, and and he's and he said, "Well, what about you?" And I said, "Well, I guess I could uh, hold your hand too." And he's like, "More hands, the merrier." Well, mm -hmm. sounds good to me. That's what she said. Right. Sounds like a bushwhacker mm -hmm. trying to get on my girl. No, but no, 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 no. just like Sam Jones, you better watch out, right? Uh, Sam Jones just needed a ride. <laughs> he just needed so a ride. I just oh say. god. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that one. Everybody, Sorry. even if Walked you're going to see uh, Doctor Strange the night before, set those alarms. You want to be up early. Uh, we team. aren't exaggerating when we tell you that 8 a.m. that line will start. We'll have people coming up. Six. Six. It's, it's like any other time. What, well, why don't you just go and get your reserved seating tickets so you don't have to No, do no, that. I mean no, no, to no, all no, seats for comic book day. I'm saying even if you go Friday night, you better be in line early Saturday because James Brown's usually there like five or six or whatever sitting there in his lawn chair. Those hottest items, they go fast. There's people go and if you want those hottest books, if you want those first chances for first appearances, the Marvel, the DC, the image books, those always go first. And again, not all giveaways show. There's comic boxes, oh, yeah. supplies, it, bag, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. If you show up at 2 o'clock, you can't expect you're going to get the DC and the Marvel book. I'm telling you right now, those will be gone by noon probably. Absolutely. Before then. Doors open at 10. 10, yep. Yeah. It's, we order a lot, but I mean, you got to come. You got to get it while you can. Yep. True that. How far down Burlington will the line go? All the way back to Burger King. Let's go. Hey, lucky for us, we've got the space for the yes. line. So... Any more questions for free comic book days? I think that is. Zayvon wants to take pictures, but I'm not exactly sure if he knows how to use his camera. Well, yet. everyone's welcome to take Zayvon, pictures. You're welcome to come. You're welcome to take pictures. If they're good or not, that's on you. I'm sure. I don't know what kind of question that is, but <laughs> yeah. Right, but sure. Yes, come take pictures. <laughs> hey, Zayvon, always show you for a loop. It is in, in front Zayvon, of Zayvon, you know, it is the United States of America. You are allowed to take pictures. Yeah, I'm not going to tell him now. Yeah. So let's come on down, Zayvon. Do a little photo shoot. Sure. Sure, sure. All right, let's go again. Con News brought to you by A5 Star Limousine, providing all the best in celebrity entertainment transportation in Denver, Colorado. All right. We we talked about it last week. Uh, you have something? Uh, I'll wait till you, but I okay. did get news. All right, cool. Uh, we have Cowboy Bob Orton going to be here. Ace. We are also going to have Luke Bushwhacker in attendance. Yes, sir. So... Uh, and then that's also obviously brought to you by a five star limousine uh, images and profiles and bios will be put on the website and updating that. We just, we wanted to make sure you guys are watching the podcast, you know, share this podcast, let people know because misinformation Please. is the death of some stuff. It is. That's what they say. All that's right. Scary. I have been holding my tongue for nearly a month and a half ago. I think in almost two months about this, everybody. We are ready to announce our first comic guest. We got the final word back in. We're going to be promoting him Ken as soon doesn't as we even get some pictures. Yet. Ken don't even know. We are going to be bringing in Matt Hawkins, the COO of Top Cow Comics, the writer on almost all of Mark Silvestri's early works there, including the writer behind Think Tank. Chris will tell you all about it, one of his Love favorite comic book. series. Also, currently, Writer and creator of Think Tank. Writer and creator, and he's also the writer and creator on currently the number one romance graphic novel up on amazon swing he has three of those out currently amazing guy we're also trying to land some other big names from top cow there we can't <laughs> announce anything until we get words in but matt hawkins coming to town it's going to be huge he's going to be bringing lots of that top cow product this is your chance to get a lot of those books signed hopefully we'll have some more to announce soon but we got to wait for those emails to roll in i've been told i've been a bottom cow you are a bottom cow, sir. Well, all right. Well, con <laughs> news. Let's list those cons right next week at the Denver oh, Coin yeah. Show. Denver, Denver Coin, Coin Show. show? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, a, Div I'm going with your mom with, on one of them. Three right. cons in six weeks or you're something. You're doing what with you're your mom? to the Coin Show? Yeah, they're gonna let I, you in. Well, no. Gary and Sally trust you with the coins. No, I'm just no, I'm just gonna go with <laughs> no. no, no. He's gonna try to sell tables. Gary and Sally trust anybody with coins? No, I know. I said no. James with coins. I, gotta go get there, so. yeah. I, will, I will be at the Denver yeah. Coliseum uh, What's Your Stock Show Complex, actually. We're all at the Denver Co the Coin Show. Trish usually goes to. And then 
later Those in May, we are yeah, set up to Retro Mania. Next weekend, Bully weekend. show. Uh, oh, I cannot freaking wait. It's, it's show awesome. season is Sam full Jones of swing. going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Bulk of Skull going to be there. Raphael. Ra- yeah, Raphael, this one of the suit actors, oh, yeah. is going to be there. We are looking for the biggest Star Wars fan in Denver, Colorado, to help Retro Mania Con. To get into your own Fox News story. So, Special no, listen, exclusive. no, it's not just this is coming down to the wire, though, people, because wire. they need that they want to do this before the May the 4th. So, literally, they need somebody like tomorrow. So, if yeah. you know the biggest Star Wars fan, we aren't looking for a store owner, Non-retailer. a Star Wars fan who wants to be part of Retro Mania. I, mean, I love story, Star Wars. I, I love yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, you have to literally, anybody, but... you literally have to do that tomorrow. You have to tell them because they'll be coming to you probably tomorrow. The you know, like within, they want to take pictures of your collection. This week, they they want to come. No, see not you this week. May the fourth is too Tomorrow. late. Tomorrow, May the fourth. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah, three days until May the fourth. All right, after Retro Mania Con, what do we got? Retro Mania Con, we are going to be back to National Western Talk Show, Denver TCG Con, where they're going to have several voice actors, including Mark Britton, uh, hooked up by KS yeah, Productions. Yeah, got, him, got him booked over there. Uh, Stephanie is going to be there. She's the voice of Son, Go- Son Gohan and Son Goku, the, like the younger versions of themselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, There's going to be the voice actor that did Tai from Digimon. Uh, and then the voice actor that did Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh! Joey, jo- Joey, Joey Wheeler. Wheeler. Uh, so get your, uh, what are the, the token, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! token cards of Joey and, you know, get them, get them signed. Uh, the the uh, original musician that did the pokemon song is also going to be there okay, real quick interruption heidi davis is this person local is the person you were talking about local here let us know we want to get them hooked up yeah heidi she's this is who the artist is going to be over here yep. that's awesome. yeah if you know heidi yeah there's a facebook post on the all seas page please put your info on there we will get it to retro mania right we will away get them hooked up uh so that's in that's in june uh, July, we're going to be at Denver Comic Con or Fan Dinner, Expo Denver. Fan Expo. Jim uh, Lee announced. Have, Jim Lee's going to be there. So that's kind of what sealed the deal. James was like, sealed I wanted a day off, but he wanted to go see Jim Lee. I'll still get his day off. Sure. Fourth of July is Monday. Yep, that's after. true. We take. We're going to be con all weekend, and then we're going to take ourselves today. Oh, then we'll be at Colorado Springs. I, I do have to ask yeah. for all those fans out there who might want to know do we got a podcast next week? It is Mother's Day. Uh, we will have a podcast okay. next week. Um, is Trish the guest on the podcast? I mean, I would imagine if she'd like to be. Do you want to be I'm trying to get guest? my mom, but Sally won't Man, come. Man, Sally won't come now. We, we try. Not after a coin show. Man. She's just going to go. Coin oh, show yeah. followed by podcast. Oof. Trish will be the guest next Trish week. Trish is our guest for Mother's <laughs> Day. Whether she likes it or not. We don't need that kind of grumpiness on our you, podcast. You can call so. him. Hey, on no, not yet. <laughs> call <laughs> Sally. Voice. You're being a little grouchy right now. That's Sally. She's more Sally excited. here. Like, yes, I will. Yes, I will. So yeah. excited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right, Con News brought to you by A5 Star Limousine. What's the next con we got? Uh, Carl Freeze Comic Con. And it. they're releasing guests left and right. My favorite con. Crazy. Uh, they're going to start releasing some uh, Star Wars guests. We're probably going to be giving away some tickets on this podcast. So always be liking, Sharon. Ultra you Reality. You know when we're going to add some uh, tickets to the Ultra, Ultra Reality, Eric and Bergie, you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much down there, Love everybody it. that works for them. Uh, you guys do a great job. Great. By, by far, uh, you know, and it's not a knock to any of the other shows in Colorado. No, it's or just my favorite. Else. They they do a really good job of organizing the con. Yep. Uh, like honestly, they do, and that's not a knock on any other show or anything of that, of that nature. Uh, it's just a very enjoyable show. Uh, pretty easy to get around. And then uh, right, hold on, real quick, Zavon. I thought Javon was the biggest Star Wars fan. If you think it's Javon, Javon. Javon's with the V. That's Javon right there. But uh, we're looking for Star Wars collectors yeah. too. And he doesn't have any. Need Star a collection. <laughs> yeah, it's comic book. Chris, t- just for uh, my note, are you taking your normal break in two weeks for Starfest? Oh yeah, we yes. forgot about that. Yes, guy. I am. Starfest coming up. We will be set up there. Me the day up. But Chris will be there. The sad, weekend. the last one of all time. Starfest. It's the last Starfest. Last time last I go make fun of some nerds. I'm gonna have to go up there that? and make fun of a Cleon or two one last time. <laughs> well, shit, I'm gonna have to make my way down my, to the last Federation ball. Oh, I get to see it for Reni. Is there any Federation Farini? ball still happening on Saturday? Probably. I'm Probably gonna have to go to the final Federation ball. Romulans? Any Borg? Might be one or two, maybe a Borg. Did Mostly you? Klingons, though. Chris. Do they they say are the king. What day you there? Uh, you... I'll be there Friday. <laughs> you knew Saturday, I was going to go with Sunday, it already. Sorry, Friday, Saturday, if this sure. is the last one, you can't be so drunk by Saturday that when I hit you up, we can't grab a Romulan ale. I have to get There's a Romulan no ale with Chris. I got to make up for two years of not going. Chris, Stop. 
We're getting Romulan Ale. It's our last chance. Star cons are really known to be the ones that first started kicked off cosplaying, which another reason I don't it, like. I it. can't believe <laughs> Starfest is going out. I I can. And why? Well, are they've been doing it. Out? They've been doing it for since 1978. Years. Forty-five. Uh-huh. Years. Since 1978 was the first one. Forty-five. I've and... only been to one in my business in 35 years. <laughs> And then the uh, couple that runs it, the couple that runs it have decided to step down. They've been doing it for 48 years. They're like, the kids don't want to do it, anything with it. So they're like, Hmm. we're going to. Chris, would you buy the con from them? Sounds. I don't know. That's a lot of work. (laughs) But what we have is the most best is homegrown. Oh, speaking of the final con. Brought to you by Angelo CDs, Colpar. Pocket Games and NLG and NLG. We do have two sponsorship mm-hmm. spots left, so hit myself up or James for details on that. You tables limited. Tables issue. limited. You're gonna have to get up yeah. to a full gamut of applications to be able to get into the show. We're, Over ten thousand sure square feet for people to walk through. Ten thousand square feet, huge venue. Gonna be a mission this time, but you know, Cowboy Bob in the house. Yeah, this, trying to get one Bronco unannounced yeah. on probably Friday night for the Bronco. I would imagine. Hopefully. Sunday will be football season, so maybe a baseball player, retired baseball player. We do Sunday. have a non-Bronco football player that's going to be uh, brought in by NLG. That's true. We'll announce that next week. He's going to be here all weekend? All with weekend, NLG? as far as oh, I know. That's, that's cool. Unless that changes. Cowboy I'm Bob, not really announcing him right now. Cowboy Bob, Saturday only. Bushwhackers, Saturday only. Matt Hawkins, all weekend. All weekend. All five, three days, five he, days. He is currently yeah. coming in Friday or Thursday, leaving Sunday, so it should be all day. We're really trying to expand <laughs> out. Just a month. That's the most important thing. It is. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days. The word applications was used, so I want to throw this out there. Aurora Rise, just today, the first of the month, we have posted our application for the 2022 Alex Sullivan Learning Scholarship. Awesome. All C's here helping us with that. Um, got us enough money to possibly turn this into two scholarships. We typically do two $500 ones. With the All C's Fan Expo, we're looking at trying to do two if we get enough applications in. You guys can check out the Aurora Rise Facebook page. We've posted it there. It is we've made it easier than ever this year. It is a survey monkey. You go in, fill out a handful of lines. I'll send you an email. You reply back to with a quick question, and we're done. It's beautiful. Sir Alex Sullivan, no relation, but I did know him. He's a good dude. Old customer of ours. Who he is related to is Tom, Tom Sullivan, 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 our state, state representative. State Congressman Tom Sullivan. Thank you for all your hard work. I saw him the other day on the news. It was pretty cool to see Tom. Yep, still pops by to get his whole spot once in a while. Yep, yep, Make sure he gets right. in nice. Get yep. the new issues over here. Okay. All right, what else we got, Kenny? Is that it? That, that is it, I believe. We got our artists here uh, at the south location only because we have the, just so much gaming going on. Well, it's Magic the, Game Day. Uh, yeah, it's it, Magic Game Day. You can so. kind of draft it. It's so much. We're going to be magicking all day up there. So usually we have artists or guests or whatever. And real quick, locations. before we call Hecklar, because I know Hecklar's excited about taking that limousine all across town. Uh, what is Magic Game Day all about, real quick? Okay, so we got two things going on. Magic Game Day is something that happens over a two-week period. Each store is going to set it, so the South Store here is going to have it set. It is a chosen format between, uh, let's see, this time they're letting us choose Brawl, Standard, Draft, and Sealed. I'm pretty sure both stores are going to be doing Draft because every time there's a new set, that's what everybody wants to everybody do. Wants to draft. So that is happening, as well as the Draft Day is going on at the same day we're hosting. So South Store is going to be a different game day. Draft day this Saturday coming up for the North Shore. What we're going to be doing is that four pack draft. So normally drafts are three packs. We call these monster drafts when you get four packs to draft from. It typically happens in sets where you get three color sets like this. Gives you more chances to hit the colors you want for your deck. Still playing a forty card deck, but more cards to get in. We do that at twelve dollar entry for a four pack draft. Our normal drafts being ten dollar entry. So it's your chance to come on, get four packs, draft into them, and see if you can't walk away with some of those awesome prizes. Any big prize cards? So for the game day events, they always assign you get a card on entry, you get a card if you make top eight, and if you were the winner, you get a card that typically values about a hundred dollars. It's free to enter, right? It isn't free, so because it's a draft, we have that twelve dollar entry okay. for it. Um, buy the packs. But you get a card. I mean, really? Yeah, you you're basically free. You, it's free. You're paying less than you would per pack to buy four packs. Right. Yeah, getting cards. So I guess it's not free. That's but... actually a killer deal. Yeah, yeah. that's a killer deal. Yeah. You're getting three dollars a pack instead of four dollars. Mm, right. It's a little over almost I, cost. I literally dare anyone in town to find someone doing cheap drafts than us. Do it. Do it. Find them. And not only that, you, you know, if you haven't played Magic or you haven't played Magic you in a while, said, mm-hmm. events mm-hmm. like this is a great chance to come learn and play, have fun because really, absolutely, at, at all sees the gaming arena. There's so many knowledgeable players there that will teach you and not be like they're happy. Hate. And I gotta say, they're happy to teach. Stuff's coming back. Yeah. Gaming is coming back full blow. We had our biggest tournament 
since COVID last night, we hit 36 players in the Ooh, gaming arena. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that is beautiful. in addition to a commander pod sitting on the we side. Got, we got Yu-Gi-Oh burning at both stores. I mean, you'd like this old school cell. We have people standing at one of the cases to play. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, nice. and last night. 20 from each Standing tournament room. showed up here. Last night. Room, 40 in the house last night. Yep, yep about both 40 both stores then. Yeah. Yep. So, and then, so, we got, I'll announce those artists again. Eddie Rose the third of E3 Art. We got Matt Gonzalez, Shrinking Matt, Mant, and then Mate. Heidi Davis. Awesome. Uh, Hi, there might be a spot Hi, left if you're an artist you want to get in, get a hold of uh, AJ or Ken or myself. Down for the South or Trish, here. Or the beard, why not? Any hey, of us. You know what, I would... I don't know that I'd find this artist in time, but here's what I would say for this coming event and when we in the future have these magic events. If I ever have the big magic event like this when we normally have artists, if we have a magic style artist, I would fit them in the room. Heck yeah. But it's kind of one of those things that when we have magic going on, we want that well, theme going. We, and we also want to get as many people to play the game. Yeah, so we, we need to save those yeah, seats for people whole, to play. But if you guys have any magic style artists that do that kind of style art, you hit us up. We can find places. Well, and, uh, if oh, you, if, yeah. If you've sure. never been to All Seas before, and this is the first time you've ever heard this podcast, you're coming out for a free comic day. The Aurora locations, the 30, 35-year-old spot, almost 35-year-old spot. Go, the main comic book inventory is going to be the Aurora. Year, next year, we're at 35. It's going to be. Yeah. So the main the main big inventory is at the Aurora store. But the Centennial store, is Chris and I handpicked the comics that are on the wall. And the comics are in the back issues here, and it's a great, great store for comic books. Me and James it's just got done store. curating the video game collection at both stores this week. A lot less clutter at this store. The Aurora store is daunting. Like if Sometimes you, wanna, you get in there, you could... That's the other reason to get there early, but we it'll be packed in the oh, Aurora yeah. store. People at every box. Every box is going to be being on. 50% off back issues. I mean, some of these games in here, you got Final Fantasy 2. Those are... NBA 95. This is just what you could see. What's the, what's the sale on the video games? 25%, 25% off. 25% off. I... And meet Heckler. I'm going to call I'm him right saying, now. And I'm that Def Jam ain't living to Friday, otherwise I'll take it. And then i got to tell you guys, what you're seeing right here isn't everything. Inside of our gaming arena here, we have consoles galore. Awesome. Games yes. galore. Getting Heckler on the phone here yeah. right as we speak. Hopefully. Heckler, here. Heckler how are you, my friend? I'm okay. You know, Trish, Michael Keaton is isn't he? he is Batman, indeed. He's the only Batman I'm going to ever acknowledge. Adam West. Yeah, what about Adam West? No. Well, oh, Adam, Adam West, definitely. But when I saw George Clooney, I thought I was watching a sitcom. <laughs> You're yeah, right, Agla. Agreed. You're right, my friend. Yeah. I have a little game for you guys. You put your phones down. You all there? Yes, sir. I don't even, I've not had mine the whole time. Okay. I want to see... No phones, AJ, and beard, <laughs> Chad, no phones. He's going to make sure I the found, beard's awake. I found a rare film, a very rare film, and I Ooh. found a place all you guys can watch it. So what film from the 70s that is sort of a horror film mystery starred both Anthony Hopkin and Burgess Mack? Hmm. Who's the second one? Burgess Meredith and Anthony Hopkins. No phones, no phones. Chris Packham, AJ. AJ, get off there. Get off the phone, AJ. I don't know already. I don't know. <laughs> Anthony, okay, hold on. So it's the 70s. Beard is my bed. Yeah, Beard is the one. Come on, Chris. So it's it's Anthony Hopkins and something Meredith, 70s horror film. No, come on, Burgess Meredith. Burgess Meredith. It's the penguin. penguin. Yeah. Batman TV show it's Nick. Adam West. Nick. What is it? He was Nick and he he's Nick and Rocky, Rocky yes, yeah. Chris. But what movie are we talking about? Um, <laughs> oh, and it's uh, a horror, horror movie. movie. You got us, Heckler. You got us. We don't know. Okay, so the movie is called Magic. I would have never guessed Anthony that. Anthony Hopkins, I believe it was his first or second of the film. He's in his twenties and he's a magician kind of comic, but mostly a magician, and he has a dummy named Flats. I really think you guys should check it out on Tubi. Tubi! Oh, Tubi's... Uh, I, All right, well, check it, Hector. Thank you for the recommendation. Okay, so I've got a question for AJ. How many different Charizards from the 90s to now we are there? Ooh, I have no idea. There's a lot, Eckhart. Well, the reason I ask, because it's a follow-up question, is can people pretty much guarantee themselves... A profit if they're paying low on any Charizard. So, no. if, 
No, because there's, there's some that come with starter decks that were made in structure yeah, decks. Structure decks, promos. promos. There are so many Charizards they put out now that, no, Charizard is not a guarantee. I have plenty of Charizards that have gone down in value in the last couple of years. They started at $10 or around 5 now. So the best bet, high Clark, would be to come in, talk to a professional like AJ, Morgan, or Tristan, and, you know, they would point you in the right direction, my Absolutely. friend. Absolutely. You know, and I've actually disappointed quite a few children when I told them that their Charizard wasn't worth hardly anything. When don't they, don't they, be they're sitting on a two hundred dollar card. Don't be something. disappointed, Hat Clark. Just we'll point you the right way, my friend. We'll show you the Charizards that are actually worth money. Talking about myself, I just want the public to be informed. Same Very as well. the public. You come in and see us, we'll show you what Charizards are worth what. Yep. Kind of fun. It's nothing special, special, but I did get a mint condition early 80s double album of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Spicoli. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. And I guess, uh, what else do I have for you guys? Mm. You ready for free comic day, Heckler? You gonna take oh, the yes, yes, that's what it was. Oh, I have so many cool things to give out. I'm gonna give stuff out at the South. Giving out cash, Eckler? I gave out cash last time. Don't you remember? I, I do. You, you still amaze me. I love it, Eckler. It's amazing. I like it, sir. Actually, who amazes me is only one person. His name is Moji, General Hussein, from the old R-N-D-W. And he has made it so Bob Orton Jr. And what is the name of the other guy? Luke. Bushwhacker Luke. Luke. Bushwhackers, right, right, right. I'm a little young for the Bushwhackers, but I've looked at their footage. They were hilarious. Yes, absolutely, my friend. And a, a five star limousine's driving you around town that day, right? Yes, I hope so, if I don't upset them. But yes, A5 Star Limousines is great. They're going to be giving me one of their beautiful cars with all the lights, and it's all shiny and sparkly. So, heckle me that, and heckle you this. Next Saturday is free comic book day. Almost cool as Trish. <laughs> I will give free prizes out on this great day. So join us next Saturday to play, play, play. Good night. Good night, Hat Clark. Thank Hacklar. you, my friend. Congratulations, Matt Gonzalez, for winning that Pokemon, Absolutely. Matt. Absolutely. And those comic books. Save on. You better hope Hat Clark got an Angelo C uh, gift card, and you better hope you're there in time. That's right. Th thank you, everybody, for watching this podcast. Peace.